long shot. Jackpot, 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 jackpot. Ryan round the block. Shooting those shots. You know that I'm hot. Working on your thought. Flying like an Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we are today. We're looking to rebuild the New York Knickerbockers, man. You know, this team's in a lot of uh, duress recently. You know, but they got some pieces, man. Look, uh, right now, you know, I think these guys are about six in the East, but I don't know if I like this team how they're set up. Uh, it's clearly not a championship team, man. We're out here to win championships. Uh, so we're going to be making some trades. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and cut to the first trade I make here, but just going to make you a quick look at the roster. First move, we, I mean, Kimball Walker. Uh, you know, he's been playing terrible all year long. Probably looking to move him. Potentially Julius Randle. You know, I like Julius Randle, but, you know, he's a lot of trade value in this game. I'd like to keep R.J. Barrett. I can see him being um key piece for this team, though he's at that B-plus potential. Don't really like Obi Toppin. He's a terrible defender. Uh, other than that, quickly, definitely going to be staying, but I'll go ahead and cut to the next trade. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the first trade. Trading Derrick Rhodes and Kimball Walker. Uh, receiving Lonzo Ball and Derrick Jones Jr. So obviously, this is just a trade. Get us, build build us up some youth. And, uh, you know, just work on the future. Look at Lonzo Ball. Obviously, fantastic playmaker. He's got great potential. Uh, you know, he normally puts up good numbers. He's on a long-term contract. So, it's something I like. And, uh, yeah, uh, obviously, Derrick Jones Jr., not that great. He won a dunk contest. What they do? But um, he's kind of just a fill-in piece. But we're going to go ahead and make this trade official. Thank you, Chicago. Trading for Goran Dragic. I'd like a shooting guard back. I mean, well, I could put... Okay, I could do Alec Burks, the two guard. We can put, we can actually pull the trigger on this trade. So, yeah, obviously in a worse contract, but that one-year deal uh, makes up for it. Uh, you know, we got to make a big splash free agency next season. So, we'll go ahead and make this trade. Welcome to Goran Dragic. But, guys, this is the lineup we'll be rocking with. For uh, season one, uh, very similar to the Knicks starting lineup right now. Uh, we got Alec Burks in the starting rotation here with R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson. Uh, and then, of course, the key piece we just picked up, Lonzo Ball. Off the bench, we rock him with Goran Dragic, Manuel Quickly, Kevin Knox, Obi Toppin, and Lonzo Well, You know, my expectation for this team around a sixth seed, maybe get, you know, north of 40 wins. Hovering around 50 is what I hope. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. I will catch you guys in the regular season. Heat, 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 heat. I be selling that heat, heat. What you got on your feet, feet? Air Force One, that's some old heat. Two, three, Jordan, that's a new feat. 350 easy for the street, street. We are outperforming expectations here with the fourth seed right now. As you're only one game back from the number one seed in the East, so uh, that's, we're playing great basketball right now. Brandon Ingram, great player, but I'm happy with RJ. Let's keep on simming here through the All Star break. Heat on me, we can't compete. Heat, 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 heat. Finish line, got that heat, heat. What do you got on me, me? You ain't getting it for free. Three year old discount for the family. All we know is that heat, heat. Rocking the sneaks, that's sweet. Rocking them J's, that reseller craze. Supreme on me, I can't get a race. Looking for days, the heat footway. Taking away the new highway. Yo, we might do it. We might do it, yo. What? We're one game back from the one seed as a 50-win team. That is wild. And if we win this game, we just, I think we got second. But damn, what a season. Uh, see, we got Joel Embiid winning MVP here. K Cunningham, not surprised. Whoa, that's, I just walked over. That's pretty surprising. I never see Joel Embiid win MVP in this game. But um, there you go. K Cunningham, rookie of the year. We see that all the time. Andre Drummond, sixth man of the year. Uh, for some reason, this happens all the time, even though he's a damn center. I'd like to see the day a center win six man of the year. But um, Giannis Antetokounmpo, defensive player of the year, as always. Uh, Tyrese Maxey went in six, or most improved. Uh, let's see, Willie Green, that's a Pelicans coach, winning coach of the year. And the Clippers GM at 49-33 with GM of the year. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that, but I guess my opinion doesn't matter. All right, uh, all NBA teams here. I uh, don't believe we'll be seeing any members of our team. Uh, oh, there we go. Alonzo Ball, defensive first team. Uh, and I don't believe we had any rookies on the roster. So, there we go. Let's see. Where we, I think we finished two seed right here, but we tied. One game behind the Heat for that one seed, man. And this is just wild. Anyone could win the East right now. Because even the, what, the, the Nets are in the play-ins right now. And they're only six games behind the one seed. Like, that's wild. Wildly competitive conference. I mean, the Pelicans are the one seed in the West. I don't know what the hell went on this year, but um, let's go ahead and 
go ahead and simulate the play-ins a little bit. Lakers are the eighth seed. I mean, I guess that's pretty realistic, huh? I'm not happy with this matchup at all. I'm New York versus Brooklyn. You know, this is a very big matchup. Uh, everyone's healthy for them. Yeah, this is uh, not going to go well. That's about all we got. All right, game one goes to Brooklyn. Not surprising. Uh, Kevin Durant lit us up. Kyrie Irving did play trash, though. No one guarding him, so shout out Alec Burks. Uh, Goran Dragic put up a great game off the bench. Let's see, game two. We're still at home right now. Taj Gibson has a flu. He's not even in the lineup anyways. We lose by one point. Man, Emmanuel quickly, like I said, that he's a G coming off the bench. I mean, we're just not going to be able to stop this big three. This is a terrible first-round matchup for us. Going into game three on the road. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, like I said, good team. But, uh, oh, there hey, we got a game. Shout out to us. Julius Randle, great game. Lonzo Ball quickly. Man, RJ Barrett is just out there just throwing anything at the rim. Not what we want to see, but uh, go ahead and move on. Game five on the road. Pick it up. Okay, making some steam here. Uh, okay, game six at home. You know, this is a very winnable game at home. Taj Gibson, and we are eliminated. Game six, we lose at home. Big loss. James Harden killed us. Uh, you know, let's go ahead. I think R.J. Barrett might have to go, man. That was a terrible playoff performance. I guess it wasn't as bad as I saw. Maybe I just saw his bad games. It looked like I said Emmanuel quickly. Just a bucket all around, 60% from the field. Uh, I thought R.J. Barrett was doing a lot worse, but I guess not. Um, Julius Randle didn't really play up to expectations. I mean, eh, I mean, not really played bad. We just played the best team in the league. That's going to happen. I mean, Goran Dragic went the bed pretty bad there, but other than that, not disappointing. Just a uh, tough matchup. Go ahead here and send the playoffs. It's the yo. What is up with Cleveland? Lakers win the championship. The eighth seed Lakers. LeBron gets what? It's like his fifth or sixth ring. Uh, I think that's number five right there. Just Ty. I think he's the goat after that one, man. I don't know how the hell he pulled that one out. Uh, I was the eight seed coming in. He swept the one seed. I didn't even peep that. But shout out to LeBron. So y'all might think it's the bad trade. Obviously, I'm giving up a lot of talent here, but I'm giving up contracts, and uh, that's more important. I'm a free agency. Uh, we can make a big splash for the New York Knicks. Everyone wants to join us. Not interested. All right, like I said, I'll throw in a first, but now you're asking for too much, man. You're really you're really pulling my balls here, man. All right, and they accept it. So if you guys did not peep that trade, uh, I'll go back and uh, flash it up on the screen. I traded Julius Randle, Alec Burks, New Orleans Noel, and two first-rounders for the number one pick in the draft. Uh, some might call it a finesse. Uh, on either side, I mean, you could say that we got finesse, but... I don't think so. Obviously, Paulo Benchuro, great player. Uh, you know, unless something catastrophic happens and he tears ACL, uh, he should be at least to 80 overall. Pick. All right, maybe we can get uh Matthew Cleveland, Florida State. Yep. Now look at there. <laughs> First guy that comes up. All right, Matthew Cleveland, welcome to the team, baby. Uh, yeah, Florida State is playing great. Um, yeah, I think it'd be an all-star too. That was a steal at the end of the draft there. Yeah, like I said, 80 overall. Normally these uh, top guys are going to be that high. I'm surprised Jaden Hardy slipped that much to 11. That's a good pick up there. Uh, these other guys really recognize. So, you know, Matthew Cleveland, great pick. That's all the offers we have right now. And they all accept. And so now i got to make the choice between Bradley Beal and Zach Levine. Bradley Beal makes more sense. Definitely does. Uh, but Zach Levine's the killer in this game. And there's no way I pass up on him. Patrick Beverly is definitely on the older side, so we'll take Marcus Smart here. All right, guys, here is our 2023 uh, New York Knicks. Like I said, we got Lonzo Ball, Zach Levine, R.J. Barrett. See, very similar roster to the last season. Obviously, um, picked up an elite score at this two-guard position, which was a, it's kind of what our team was missing. You know, we went up against the Nets in the finals, and uh, we just didn't have someone to battle with uh, KD uh, and Harden and Kyrie. You know, uh, picking up a guy like Zach Levine definitely going to give us a uh, hooper. Off the bench, very similar bench position here, except he did pick up uh, defensive mastermind here, Marcus Smart. Uh, we got Kevin Looney for New Orleans Noel. Uh, you know, he's a very good player, able to get rebounds, all that jazz. Uh, Manu quickly still a six-man, sorry, Obi. I am like an astronaut, like Will and the hook shot. I'm the long shot. Jackpot, 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 Ryan around the block. Shooting, though. Just picking up win after win. I did not expect this team to be that good. I didn't expect it to be this great. I'll be honest with you. 
who is uh, taking our one seed? The Cavaliers. Uh, I guess uh, Darius Garland's doing his thing over there. Shots, you know that I'm hot. Working on your thought, flying like an astronaut. Like Will and the hook shot. I'm the long shot. Jackpot, 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 jackpot. Pushing threes. Like I'm Allen. Clutch jeans. Like I'm Kobe Bryant. Can't stop. Yo, the Detroit basketball, man. They are back and in it. Yo, they give us tons of L's this season. I don't know what the hell. Jer Why are we getting scored on by Jeremy Grant? <laughs> Is Jeremy. Yo, Jeremy Grant really giving us buckets like that. All right. I just had to make sure. Uh, we are clinging on to this one seed. Like, uh, another very competitive. You know, we're not having the best season, but uh, we are number one in the East. Pretty uh, substantially, too. It's not like it's going to come into. Uh, contest here despite all losses were taken and we're gonna end the season off with a w your mvp is trey young of the atlanta hawks for a 50 40 90 season on 35 points you know that's a clear mvp nod there uh, couldn't have gotten anyone else chet holmgren orlando magic wins rookie of the year uh, you know paulo benchero played great not good enough i guess caleb houston of the spurs six man of the year uh, i guess he was <laughs> 70 overall but of 16 points a game he must have been playing backup for uh, carmelo anthony because uh, remember, he signed with the Spurs. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. That's wild. Uh, you know, he hasn't played defense since he left New Orleans. But, all right. Colin Sexton, most improved. And, you know, that's a you know, that's a great deal. He went to Chicago after uh, a trade. I got Alonzo Ball. He must have signed there. They had the opening, and uh, he's been doing great. Oh, and Zach Levine. I guess I got half the Bulls are building over here. I didn't even realize that. Uh, Tom Thibodeau, the New York Knicks. That's coach of the year. That's going to give me an extra point in my scoring, so I'll take that. And we do not win GM of the year, but shout out Tom Thibodeau, the 30-year head coach. We play the Toronto Raptors, the Nets. Thank God we didn't have to play them again. Uh, you know, that's wonderful. So uh, should have an easier matchup here. All right, and these were the end-of-season stats in case, uh, you know, obviously I haven't shown them yet, so you missed them. Uh, Zach Levine put up 26 points. Like I said, fantastic shooting, fit almost 50-40-90, uh, just shot in that three-point free throw percentage. R.J. Barrett. Played fantastic. Quickly off the bench, 17 a game. That's why he should have won six man of the year, uh, but they give it that 70 overall instead, which was completely undeserved. Uh, Paulo Benchero, the rookie. You know, all-rookie first team for a reason. Put up 16 and 6. Alonzo Ball, you know, flirting with some triple-double numbers here. 15, 6, and 9 around. Uh, he didn't shoot the best in the field. Shot great from three, though, so that uh, makes up for it. Like I said, man, that's why I want to trade Obi Toppin. He can be whatever overall he wants. This man cannot shoot threes for his life, and he will chuck them up. Uh... Other than that, great season. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get our roster set to take on the Toronto Raptors. Uh, you know, crazy. He's not like a KD, so we should be all right. I'm going to go ahead and send game one here. Game one goes to the Knicks. A win by seven points. Uh, Zach Levine and Quickly doing their thing. Yeah, like I said, uh, Scotty Barnes finds himself here at the bottom of the box scores. So uh, not much to worry about there. Game two. Game, oh, wow, we got destroyed. You know, it's, but it's not even like, yeah, it's OG on a buoy. Like, you know, you can't game plan for OG on a buoy to torch you like that. So just keep on, keep the course, man. This team should be good enough to persevere. As we do, we just slim out another win. Zach Levine, not really, normally he plays a lot better than this in the playoffs, man. He has, I mean, he's 29, 27. I'm expecting like a 40-point game from him uh, right about now. Uh, you know, this is a pivotal game four, and the Raptors take it. On their home court. I mean, they just squeezed that one out by four points. Gary Trent put up 30 on us. He's been lighting it up in playoffs. Game five, you know, another pivotal game at home. We got to take the games at home as we do beat them by one point. And we are struggling with the Raptors out here. Going to game six, and we do take them in six games. Uh, just barely etched this team out, man. That was a tough matchup. 48 points in the fourth quarter gets the job done. For your New York Knicks, and we will be taking on the Milwaukee Bucks in the second round. Uh, they, they had to face Charlotte. Obviously, Giannis, Giannis Antetokounmpo, something to worry about. I'm going to go ahead and set the game plan up right now. All right, we got our matchup set here. We're going to have Lonzo Ball set to Chris Middleton. He's going to smother him when he has the ball in the scenes. Obviously, don't want to give up the, uh, the shooting ability and uh, playing him tight. And obviously, Giannis Antetokounmpo, man, we're going to deny ball. We don't want him getting the ball in his hands at all. And uh, But when he does the ball in his hands, we're going to give him a little bit of space, try and force him to shoot. Uh, giving R.J. Barrett that assignment just because he's a little bit longer. He's a decent defender. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Game one. We'll be going to Milwaukee, man. We got dominated on at home. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo lit us up, man. Let's see what game two has for us. And we ugh, lose again, man. Another 
And Giannis is giving us the business. These matchups are not working out in my favor uh, so far. At least we're holding Chris Middleton in check. We are doing that. Shout out Lonzo Ball. Game three, man. We lose by five points. But, man, Giannis Antetokounmpo, 45 points. Ty Washington, point guard from Kentucky, putting up some great numbers there. Chris Middleton got going a little bit. But, man, this is uh, not how we expected this to go. Now down three games to zero. And we get swept. That's embarrassing. Uh, we're going to have to come back harder next season. I really don't know what to do, man. We're going to have to pick up a, some star defender, I guess, at a small forward position, man, because Giannis Antetokounmpo gave us the business. Uh, let's see these finals. The Milwaukee Bucks versus the Denver Nuggets. I have a feeling Milwaukee's going to run right through them. Oh, game seven. Bucks do take it, though. You know, Giannis is too much of a problem. Uh, you know, He takes them off their feet. Uh, let me just go ahead and check before we call it a day, man. Zach Lavinia, like I said, underperforming the playoffs. He normally goes off, averaging 30 points, only put up 24, quickly played great. But, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and add up uh, the points I scored in this video because, obviously, like I said, I do my own scoring uh, to determine, you know, because I'm going to do other my GM videos. I like to compare and contrast how good I did. So um, put that up on the screen now. You'll see how we're doing so far. This is a five-year series, but, uh, you know, we're going to call it for now. If you want to see the next three years, man, leave a like. Uh, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.